Welcome to Glass Engraving for Beginners. This is my video on the Dremel flex shaft setup. So recently I bought a flex shaft, a uh, Dremel flex shaft for my Dremel rotary tool. And basically this will help us glass engrave. It's easier to maneuver. Um, here you can see it's a Dremel flexible shaft. And this particular model is model 225. This fits my rotary tool. Uh, as I was saying, this flexible shaft, um, once it's put together with my rotary tool, it'll make it easier to engrave glass. Um, the, holding the Dremel rotary tool with one hand is a little bit difficult to maneuver because of it's, it's heavy. So first thing we're going to do is take our burr off. Up next, we're going to take this part unscrew it off. Next we take the burr holder. We're going to take that off. And so you're now just left with the threaded part of the rotary tool itself. <coughs> um, so once you have that off, we're going to go ahead and go to the <coughs> next part which is uh, it's we have to take this part off the um, bigger threaded little neck right here. It, it unscrews off and now you're left with two different threaded parts on the rotary tool. The smaller one and the slightly bigger one. This little part that I'm uh, about to thread right now, it comes with the flexible shaft. So hold down the button, you gotta press the button down and then screw it onto the smaller threaded neck. Make sure it's tight. So we're going to give it a turn here. And now we're going to go ahead and give it a little eighth of a turn to secure it down. Up next, we're going to go ahead and take the actual flexible shaft. And you'll see the flexible shaft has this little thing in the middle. It's, it just looks like a, a screw, kind of. That's going to go into the middle of the neck. And then we're going to go ahead and secure the shaft onto the bigger threads. Now this part is a little bit difficult because there's some sort of a spring action inside going on. So you actually have to really push down like I'm doing here and thread it. And it shouldn't take that long. It's just a few turns. Secure it down in there. And now it's secure. It doesn't move. Okay, so now on the other end of the shaft, on the flexible shaft, we now have the small threaded neck. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the burr holder in. You can see I have one of the burr holders that takes a small burrs in there. Um, then we're going to go ahead and put it back together like we took the other one apart. So now we're screwing this down. Don't do it all the way because you still have to place your burr in there. So we're going to place it in there. Make sure it's the length that you want it to do. You have to press the button so that you can turn it and secure it down in there. Now we're going to do an eighth of a turn to fit it snug. And that's it. Uh, like I said, this is a hell of a lot easier to maneuver around glass. Um, it's almost like holding a pen or a pencil compared to the heavier Dremel rotary tool. All right, we'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching.